Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and things to part three of my Real Ghostbusters Complete Collection DVD set review, overview, examination, contents, looking at thing. Today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Well now, I promised you an in-depth look at the guts of this uber set, didn't I? I think I kept you waiting long enough. Let's dive onto the floor and take a look, shall we? Welcome to my floor. I'm actually going to be doing another segment on the floor tomorrow, so hope you all enjoy that. Okay, so... Ugh, I brought you right down. So we can get up close and personal without having to zoom in all over the place. And yeah, so this of course is the outside which you've seen and it just slides off real nice like. And then inside we have the steel books. There we go. Now some people I've seen have expressed concern about the bonus disc being in a paper sleeve crammed in with all these steel books. Don't worry, because there's a very... This is the way it came, and this is the way I've kept it. The book goes in between the steel books and the disc. And as you can see, the disc is in there fairly loose. But I mean, it's not going to go anywhere, you know. But it's not like crammed in there, getting all crunched and cracked and stuff. So you don't have to worry. Your bonus disc is actually quite safe. Just be careful taking it out of the paper sleeve. But I'm sure you all know about that. So the bonus disc we already talked about, so we won't talk about that. It's awesome, and this is what makes it worth getting the complete series set. Then, of course, we have the booklet. Now, the booklet, if we take a little look here. I went into this a little bit before. But basically, you got information and... Uh, Trivia. Here, if we sort of zoom in a little bit, yeah, you can see they give you trivia. They also tell you episode by episode, they tell you any extras that are on there. Some of them have multiple introductions and stuff like that. So, really good stuff. You know, it's great uh, just how much detail they put into this. I mean, no, like, no episode has nothing. I mean, there's at least. At the very least, you get uh, you get out of focus. There we go. At the very least, you get trivia tidbits for each episode. So that's very cool. I gotta say. So set that aside. Sorry, I still got my VHS tapes all over the place here. Okay, so we'll take a look at the steel books one by one here. So here we go. <coughs> so this, of course, is Volume One, which is available now. I'm just gonna adjust the focus one moment. There we go. Okay. So this is Volume 1, which is available separately now. Now the cool thing about this, if you look, see a little bit there, uh, it's actually bumpy. The steel cases are actually bumpy. There's a nice sort of edge to them, and the logo uh, is raised. So, and you get a little bit, uh, I think a little bit of the artwork. No, actually, no, not the artwork. But the, the logo is raised anyway, and you get this nice kind of rim around it. It just you hold it in your hand, it feels like a real quality, serious quality product. Now, for those of you who missed it the first time around, the ghost logo appears on the back of all five and then slowly gets sucked into the uh, trap. Maybe we'll do like a, a spread and show you all five of them when we're all done here. So let's take a look inside. Five discs in each volume, uh, double stacked, but in a way that uh, they don't really touch each other, which is, which is nice. They touch each other a little bit, but just like the very edge. So just be careful and you'll be fine. And then you just have a little flip tray there. And then the fifth disc on the back. And then underneath, on the inside of the case, you actually have production artwork. So there's a PKE meter. And then uh, over here, I'll have to take both of these out. Ah, and then over here you get a more detailed look at the uh, PKE meter, which is pretty cool. Neat, huh? 
So I'm not going to show you all the inner artwork. I'll just uh, show you some selected ones. But uh, there you go. Volume 1. So Volume 1 has, each volume has roughly 30 or so episodes on it. Um, I've almost finished Volume 1, and I'll be going on to Volume 2. So it's funny, you know, people talk about how the series got bad later on. Okay, now let's let's do some math here. The uh, the whole series, just while we're looking at the, the pictures here, I'll give you some information. I don't really need to repeat because it's all basically the same info. And there's the back and the spine. And there you go. Um, people talk about how, oh, Real Ghostbusters wasn't as good as it used to be in, in its later seasons. Well, okay, let's think about that for a second. So the Ghostbusters had an interesting history in terms of... Uh, how, how and where it was shown. Now, most shows are done on a network or they're uh, syndicated. Now, in the case of Ghostbusters, it was actually both. And not just both one after the other, it was both simultaneously for a little while there. For the most part, it was a network show. It appeared on ABC and, uh, you know, had a lot of success on there. But, here's the interesting thing. Okay, the first season was 13 episodes on ABC. Sorry, these are all crooked, but anyway, you get the idea. Uh, it was 13 episodes on ABC. Then they did a second season the following year, which was syndicated, and it was 65 episodes long. This is showing the, uh, the, the proton packs. But while that 65 episode season was running, there was another 13 episode season running simultaneously on ABC. So the 65 episode season would run five days a week, Monday through Friday. The 13 episode season would run on weekends. So that meant six days a week you had new episodes of The Real Ghostbusters for a period of 13 weeks. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So you got this volume four. Now here's the thing. So that means during the first season there was 13 episodes. Or second season there was 78, I mean, sorry, 65. Well, no, I guess, yeah, 78, because then there was another season of 13 going simultaneously, so there was basically 78 new episodes the following year. And then, uh, yeah, so there was a lot of episodes during the first two years, which means, now, I was going to say do some math, right? The first... Um, so it's really hard for me to talk and demonstrate at the same time. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. <coughs> so let's do the math. People talk about, oh, the later part of the series wasn't that good, and blah, 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 blah. The later part of the series wasn't that long, really. Now, the part where people start to complain was uh, season four, I believe, where they changed things and sort of watered it down. Now, this is the final volume, which is only four discs. But uh, So that one gives you a look at the ghost trap and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, they felt that it wasn't as edgy as the uh, the earlier seasons, which it wasn't. I mean, and it's it's very true. They did water it down, and, uh, and that's unfortunate. But then, for the last couple seasons, they brought Joe Michael Straczynski back to do the uh, story editing. And he basically brought it back, more or less, to what it had been originally. So it went out with a bang. And the last few seasons were actually really good. So really, the the not-so-good part of the series was very short. <laughs> it was only, uh... It was only, like, a, a season or two, and they weren't very long seasons. You know, I mean, the majority of the series was excellent, and I don't know what people are bitching and moaning about, because, you know, I think they're misremembering it, or the, the bad period left such a bitter taste in their mouth, they just assumed that the last uh, several years we're just all together horrible. So let's do our uh, little five volume spread here. And uh, we're gonna have to move the camera up. Hold on a second. There we go, so if we go all the way across, it's or backwards. I'm free. Okay, that was lame. Of course, I think what people are most remembering from the latter years of the series is when Slimer got his own spin-off series which was just such a horrible idea. <laughs> but for the sake of completeness, all the Slimer episodes are included as well. However, the one change they did make, you may recall, 
if you saw them when they originally aired. Uh, it was called Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters, and basically they had, I think they had like an hour, it was an hour long show that year. And they did, uh, they would do a Real Ghostbusters episode coupled with a Slimer episode, or they had some like half length Real Ghostbusters episodes and then a half length Slimer episode. Well, most of the Slimer ones are half length, I think. Um, you'll be happy to know that in this case, they changed, sw switched things up slightly. They have all the real Ghostbusters episodes back to back, volumes one through five. Then the very last couple of discs is where they put the Slimer episodes. So they're like buried way at the back of the set. <laughs> so if you really want to watch them, they're there. And, uh,. But you don't have to worry, you don't have to be skipping past them or whatever while you're watching the Real Ghostbusters episodes. If you just want to watch the Real Ghostbusters, it's there on its own. It's no longer incorporated with the Slimer episodes. So, yeah, some purists may take exception to that. But honestly, I've frequented quite a few Real Ghostbusters fan boards, uh, you know, doing the research for this video and just for my own personal information. And... I have yet to see a single complaint about that. <laughs> so, I think it's one of those cases where people really don't mind that they made some changes. The bottom line is, everything's there. Everything's there. Well, mostly everything. What do I mean by mostly everything? Tune in next time, and we'll talk about it. So that's it for me to you for now. That was the look at all the innards of the Real Ghostbusters Complete DVD set. Um, there, there is just so much material in there. I mean, you got all 147 episodes, including Slimer, love it or hate it, uh, and more extras than you're probably ever going to have time to go through, which I think I said already. But it bears repeating, because it's just a staggering amount of material. And as, as a lifelong real Ghostbusters fan, I could not possibly be happier. I mean, this is the set that we thought we would never see. It is so much better than anything we could have hoped for. And I think it's probably the best it's ever going to be. Um, so big hats off to Time Life. Big round of applause, Time Life. You deserve it. Yeah. Woo. All right. Good job. All right, so that's... that. That is it for me to you for now. <laughs> so tune in again next time where we're going to wrap it all up with part four and talk about what's missing from the complete set. Hmm, what could he mean? It's not as bad as you think. Tune in again next time and find out the truth. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to stop while I'm at minimum lameness and then before I get more lame. All right, catch you next time, folks. Until then, thanks for watching and sayonara.